Tristan Hobbs here, pregame at Valeski Stadium with our sweet scoop today. And our first guest is Luke West. Luke uh, will start first off the field uh, on the road. You were the uh, FIFA champion. Uh, you beat me in the finals. Uh, were you happy with yourself? I mean, I went out there and just tried my best, and I got the I got the victory, and that's all I can say. But you seem to have one big uh, guy that really couldn't really beat was Alex Bonchek. Uh, no, I would actually always beat Bonchek. I was 5-0 and against Bonchek this weekend, so really? it was pretty nice. Because yeah. he, he called you out on the Sweet Scoop when we had him on earlier in Kelowna, so I guess you kind of got your run. Yeah, yeah, over. I had to come at him right after him and just beat him every time, you know. <laughs> and, and now we'll go to on-the-field stuff. Uh, Luke, your last couple of outings have been uh, outstanding. Uh, are you feeling back like yourself again? Yeah, it just took a little bit to get uh, back into a rhythm, you know. I had some time off at Utah, and then came out here. It was a little rocky at the start, but now I'm feeling pretty good. What's the biggest thing that you've seen different in yourself over the last couple of outings? Uh, just pounding the zone and keeping the ball low and just going out and throwing strikes, you know. Uh, the other night you went four innings against Kitsap. You got your first victory of the summer. Uh, it seemed like your breaking ball has come a long way as well this summer. Yeah, uh, Coach Mashad's really helped me out, told me not to really overthrow it and just, you know, just throw it the best I can, and it's really worked out, so it's been nice. And as a pitching staff, you guys are really trying to work together now. I talked to Arturo yesterday, throwing strikes, getting ahead of hitters, not walking guys. Arturo, a good example last night when nine innings. Uh, talk about maybe the, the philosophy of this pitching staff right now, really going out there and pitching for each other. I mean, Arturo last night really set the tone. Yeah, I mean, if you just looked at Arturo and how he really uh, went after batters, that's exactly how we want our staff to be. And uh, if everyone can go out and pitch like Arturo, we'll, we'll have a great summer. And uh, in the West Coast League, obviously, you play every day. Uh, what's the biggest thing for you in between outings to get yourself healthy and back ready to go again for another outing? Yeah, just uh, throwing every day, hitting the gym, uh, keeping the workouts light, and then after, like, uh, a live outing, you can go heavy and then just getting right back after it. Uh, and Luke, our final, it's a question of the day, I guess, from Tyler Dillon. He wanted to know who your thoughts were on the best two-ball player on the team. I mean, it's a toss-up between me and Simon here. We're, we're both pretty good. I think I, I think I take the edge, though. Does height have an advantage in that? Uh, I think it does. I think it does. You can throw it lower, get more downhill on it. So it's pretty nice. Well, Luke, thanks for joining us, our first guest today. Good luck tonight. Thank you. And now we'll bring in Simon Anderson. And as Luke said, the two best-looking guys on the team. I will be up for some debate. But uh, <laughs> Simon uh, had a couple of rocky, rocky outings there against Corvallis and against Kelowna. Um, last outing on uh, Sunday against Kitsap. Did you feel like yourself again? Yeah, I think I definitely, you know, after getting hit in the arm in Corvallis, I kind of, you know, I think that fatigued my arm a little bit, so you kind of saw that a little bit in Kelowna, but definitely at Kitsap, I think I felt more like myself. Uh, in that Corvallis game, it seemed like you were really mainly fastball, Did you, and you seemed to find your slider a bit more against Kitsap. Is that safe to say? Yeah, I think that's true, and actually, um, it's kind of funny, because when I was warming up for Kitsap, I, was, I changed the seams a little bit on my fast one. It seemed to have a little bit more cut to it, so I figured I'll go with that and then kind of complimented my slider a little bit more. And uh, I asked Luke the same kind of question. And obviously, you had that arm uh, soreness. What's the biggest thing for you in between outings? I know you're kind of a closer type, long relief guy. Yeah, I mean, I think I think you just kind of have to condition your arm to get used to throwing innings, you know, and throwing multiple innings, you know, if you have to back to back. And it's just, you know, throwing a lot more every day and, uh, you know, working in some bands in there. And, uh, you know, running a lot it helps, you know, kind of get all the lactic acid out of your arm, and that helps a lot. And Simon, uh, speaking on superstitions, I, I don't know how many of these are sweets things, but you seem to have three of them going right now. You have the uh, mohawk, you have the mustache, and you have the high socks. Take us through maybe each of those. Well, um, the mohawk, I don't know, it's just kind of a summer thing. Like Biagi said, when you're out here at summer ball, you can kind of be your own person, you know, kind of get in a different, you know, attitude out here. And, you know, with the high socks, I guess. Uh, I've never seen you in the high socks before. Well, you know, back at school, we, we don't have the luxury of having nice pants, so we have to go up, so I'm kind of used to it, and I just thought I'd change things up. And then, actually, for the Summit League tournament this year, I decided to go with the handlebar and did pretty well there, so I figured I'm going to try it again. Yeah. And, and I think a lot of the guys on the team going them out, Chris Polino and Ryan Cooper seem to have two of the best ones going. Gary Tigerson, I think, almost has a match. It's beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Those guys, they can rock it. I don't know what to say, man. They got some good stashes. And uh, obviously, as a pitching staff, you liked the, the outing last night from Arturo. Uh, what do you guys do to keep matching those kind of outings? Well, I think, I think um, kind of our mentality we kind of are going for as pitchers is kind of be a bulldog out there. You know, no matter what situation you're in, Arturo, he was in many. 
you know, situations where a leadoff guy gets a base hit or he walks a leadoff guy, but, you know, you get out of there with no runs. So it's kind of like, you know, no matter what happens, you just kind of got to bear down and throw strikes. And our final question of the day for you, Simon, is we asked Luke as well, Tyler Bill want to know who you think is the best two-ball player. Well, I think for Bill and to ask that, he's not in the finals too many times. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, for him to ask that, then I don't know. What do, what do you think? I, th I thought personally either you or Kyle Casey. You guys always seem to be in the finals against Joe. Well, me and him, well, me and Kyle, we started that from North Dakota, so we brought that here. So I think we got a little more experience in that. But I don't know. Luke, I'll give it to Luke. You give it to Luke? Yeah. Well, thanks, Simon. Be nice. <laughs> thanks, Simon, for joining us. Good luck tonight. Sweets in the Elks at 7.05.